Hello, I'm Sally Barnes, the Director of National Parks, and I'm here today at Uluru with Kate Adams, the Acting Manager for Visitor Services out here. And we're at the Cultural Centre, which is the great place to start your visit here. Kate, why should everyone come to the Cultural Centre as a first stop? I think visitors should come to the Cultural Centre first uh, for a number of reasons. They can get a, a, an introduction to Uningu culture. Um, our great friendly staff can help them plan their itinerary to make the best use of their, their time while they're here. Um, there's the cafe here so they can buy uh, what uh, things they need like water and food um, and they can have uh, a visit to the, to the toilet before they head off uh, to adventure in the park. And as I'm always reminded by the traditional owners, Kate, um, the Anunu people are very keen for people to come and visit this place, have a great cultural experience, but also have a very safe and happy experience. Yeah, that's right. Um, Anangu, it's really important that um, for Anangu that people come here, experience their culture, learn about their culture, um, but you know they stay safe and stay happy while they're here, and and go back to their families. You know, yeah. So we thought we'd also give you some handy tips about how to stay safe out here because Central Australia is a beautiful, beautiful place but it's also a very dry place and a fairly wild place. So some handy hints, Kate. So number one? Number one, I think you should uh, have sunscreen. Yep. Yep. And I put mine on this morning before I came out so I'm good for that. I'm sunscreened up but take some with you as well because you need to keep reapplying every three or four hours. That's right. Number two? Some sunglasses. The uh, sun's always shining out here, or most of the time, so yeah. Number three? A hat. Protect yourself from the sun. You're going to be out walking in the park, so yeah, hat's really important. Number four? Yeah, wear protective clothing. Again, you know, the sun can be, um, it's always, always out, but the conditions can change quite quickly, so, um, you know. So cover up with some light, white yeah, clothing underneath, and then have get something ready warmer. to put something else on? Yeah, just in, you know. When the, the, the weather changes or as it comes, you know, the later part of the day, the, the temperatures can change quite quickly out here. So I forget the number we're up to, but what about <clears throat> shoes? Yeah, look, definitely. Um, you know, you're out, out in the wild, there's lots of um, animals and all sorts of other natural hazards out at Katajuda. The surface out there is quite unstable, so a good pair of walking shoes is always a great idea. OK, and then what do I take with me in my pockets or in my, in my backpack? Well, look, um, water and food are probably going to be the two most important things. Uh, like you said, it's a really dry environment out here, regardless of the time of year. So it's really important to keep your fluids up, but it's just as equally important to um, eat some food and kept, keep your body salts up as well. As well, and, and in a lot of the tracks, we've got um, places where you can fill up water, but you've got to take your water bottle with you to start with. That's right. So you need you need a refillable water bottle like this one, and, and yeah, there are a number of lo locations around the park where you can fill your, your bottle up. And what else should you do before you head off? Uh, look, if, you, if you're heading off on your own particularly, you should let somebody know where you're going, uh, what walk you're doing, and, and maybe how long you know, you're expected to be, to be out, uh, when you're going to be back. Um, and yeah, just plan your itinerary, you know, stay on the track when you're out walking around the park um, and, you know, be aware of, uh, of signage, you know, follow signage and there are also uh, some emergency alarms around the park that people can use if they, you know, if they do uh, end up having, you know, getting into a situation. So Kate, as you said, this is a great place for the last minute, oops, I forgot to take some water or I forgot to take some, tra some trail mix or some food because here at the Cultural Centre you can get water, um, hat, um, food, go to the loo um, and, and also let somebody know where you're going. It is the only place inside the National Park to get all those things. And, you know, another thing you might want to buy is that, is that ever-ready fly net, Sally, ah. for, the, for those hotter times of the year. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Anyway, hope you get to come to Uluru. Have a great time. And as we said, Lee, have a safe and happy time here and go back to your family with a, a renewed sense of spirit from being out here in Central Australia. Yeah.